uh, today's lab is synthesis of N24 dinitrophenyl aniline compound. Uh, starting compound is uh, there are two starting compounds. One is uh, 2,4 dinitrochlorobenzene, and the other one is aniline. So we add two equivalents of aniline because one equivalent is for reactions. Uh, second equivalent is to grab the hydrochloric acid which is produced. So we're using the two equivalent of aniline, uh, one equivalent of 2,4 dinitrochlorobenzene compound to synthesize and 2,4 dinitrophenyl aniline compound. So we need another reflux reaction today. So first we add 0.8 gram of 2,4 dinitrochlorobenzene compound. Zero with the papers and transfer 0.8. Maybe you can weigh the paper separate and then add 0.8. But there's no reason because make a zero with the papers and then whatever you read is the, the mass of the solid, you put one with the papers. So you don't need the calculation. Solid butter should be always on the top of the filter paper. So when you spilling it, it's not all on the floor or the bench, but on the paper. So we got exactly 0.8 gram. So 0.8 gram of 2,4 dichlorochloro, 2,4 dinitrochlorobenzene is added to 50 milliliters now water flask. Of course. Stay away from the heating mantle so you don't skip on it. And make a cone. Add. Okay. Or transfer. Okay, then we add 15 milliliter of ethyl, uh, ethanol as a solvent. 15 milliliters. Then one milliliter of honey, which is at least two equivalents. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Don't forget the burning chips. Maybe two or three pieces to have a homogeneous burning. Okay, when everything is added, move these two heating matters. And since the 50 milliliter round button flask is small compared to the heating matters, so it makes any side of the flask touch the heating matters. Next, we need a condenser because we do the reflux. So, greasing it. Three different place. Take right there. Uh, push slight, push down, and spinning it so the grease is spreading. Uh, this second clamp may be not necessary, but if you want, you can put it there, but don't make it tight. Okay, it's not tight. It's, like, it's just holding it so it's a discontent or the whole system is not falling down so it's just only for that reason don't tighten both sides if you tighten both sides this connection part if it's not perfect straight there may be some crack possibly so one is tight which is the main uh, the condenser side doesn't need to be tight okay. so it looks like set okay water Water coming in from adding from the bottom slowly. Uh, water come out from the top, not the reverse. 
And water doesn't need to be cold fast because that's the waste of water. Because the flowing water is just refresh the cold water inside the condenser. So it doesn't need to be a lot of water to be refreshed. Just water is flowing is fine. But sometimes you have to check because the water pressure is down, decrease, water stop coming. Then the, this cold water become hot and there's no condensation happening. So every five, 10 minutes, you better to check the water is still on or not. Now it's water is on. So now it's turning on, let's say 70%. And we will reflux 30 minutes. Again, the reflux 30 minutes starts when the solution starts to boil okay, and vaporize, condensed. So when you see the condensed liquid is dripping, then you have to count in 30 minutes from that moment, okay, not from now. So since the solvent is ethanol, we expecting the reaction temperature is about 80 degrees Celsius, and it will be boiling at the temperatures. So at the pro from that moment, we waiting for 30 minutes. Okay, getting my finish fine. Uh, I want to remind why we do the reflux. Now we can control the temperature, reaction temperature, because the solution temperature is the boiling point of the solvent. Maybe a little bit higher because of the other solutes there, but it's around the boiling point of the solvent. So if you want a higher reaction temperature, we can choose another solvent which has higher boiling point. If you want to lower, you can pick up the solvent which is lower boil, which has low boiling point. So reaction temperature becomes around the boiling point of the solvent. So temperature control is one reason. Second is we just need a small amount of the solvent, uh, which is enough because even though you're heating, no solvent is escaped from the system because they vaporize, but once they reach to the cold areas, cold water, condensed areas, usually at the bottom areas, they condensed and they return, go back to the flask. So vaporize, moving up, condense, fall down. So that's the reflex. So we can use a small amount of solvent and maybe even we can reflux heating for overnight or two days, three days, as long as the water is flowing okay, you can heat it for a long time without losing any solvent. And another reason is, if one of the product is a gas, which is not your main, main product, okay? because A plus B gives a C plus D, and C is our product, desired product, and D is just side product, but which is a gas, then the gas can escape from the system. So, reactants, product and product is removed which is a gas then more reactant go to product to compensate which is called Bruce Chatelier's principle okay so if you remove the solvent or the product the reaction going further to the product and getting faster and faster so reaction is completed and in short so that's another benefit of the reflux Hot. Okay, start to boiling. I don't know. You can see it's boiling. Oh, it's start to boiling. So from this moment, we counting 30 minutes. So 30 minutes reflux. After then, we cool it down and isolate the crude product. And then to purify the crude product, we do the recrystallization in ethanol. Since we have to just wait for 30 minutes, I will cut here and I will come back. Okay, 30 minutes of reflux is completed. So we turn it off and wait until it's cooled down. Because we don't disassemble, remove the condenser while the solution is boiling. Because the solvent vapor is coming out, which is not good for health. Okay, so just wait a little bit and keep the water on. Don't turn it off because still it's boiling. 
So the solvent vapor just keep produced. So you have to condense it. So water is the last one. You have to turn off. Okay, looks like stop boiling. Okay, remove the heating sauce. This is the best way to cooling. Okay, it's a little bit warm. But it stopped boiling, so okay, it looks okay. Now we can turn off the water. We got the dark orange solid as a product. Now we have to do vacuum filtration to isolate the crude product. Okay, so we need a coconut powder and suction flask. And secure the suction flask because the vacuum tube is thick. So once it's twisted, it's falling down the, the suction flask. It easily fall down and break it. So to prevent, you have to secure the flask, okay, using the link. And connect to the side. Uh, can I see it? Okay. To the side, not the bottom, to the side. Oops, too bad. And to the side of the suction flask. And the book of funders. Make sure the side is correct. Okay, if this black rubber adapter is going all the way in, that's not a good size. About halfway, maybe no more than two thirds should go inside. For crop under or vacuum filtration, you need the specific size of the filter paper, which is matching to the book of under. Okay, it's the same size. It should not be bigger, it should not be smaller. Okay, before filtering, we have to cool the solution in ice glass. Because we want more solid to come out. Keep it there for a while. Okay. Okay, now turn on the water. <coughs> Turn on the water all the way, maximum speed of water coming back. So it gives a better vacuum. And we have to wet the paper with the ethanol because it is so bad. The reason we wet the paper is if it's dry, there's a gap, it's not attached completed on the top of the booking of the So there's a gap and the solid can go between the gap. So it's not filter just going through it. So to make the paper is attached, okay, tight, we wet the paper. Usually using the solvent. Okay, hold it up. And when you transfer the solution mixture, reaction mixture, to the broken up on don't go slow. If you go slow on the solution, lick it, filter, but the solid remaining behind. So what you have to do is rolling it and pick and gentle transfer. Okay? Rolling, pick and gentle. Wow, a lot of solid fun.
Okay. Let us put some remaining. So we have some ethanol there. And don't need too much because the product is also in ethanol. Uh, Okay, all transferred. Okay, and wait. Until the transition is completed. And then we transfer this solid into an aluminum flask for refresh like this. Okay, the thread is done. So first, don't turn off the water. Break the thread in first. And then turn off. Okay. And transfer the food solid. Of the ring paper. If the paper is not coming out, then scratch not the middle, just outside. So just take the whole paper out. If there is anything remaining there, just scratch me. And try. Okay. So nothing there. And using the side of the spatula, transfer all the solid on the wing paper. Now we have a crude product which will be transferred into an aluminum flask. And we need about 50 to 70 million of the ethanol to crystallize it. So at 25 first. Another 25. 
vào tầng tiếp theo Uh, we waited until the ethanol is boiling and to make sure all the solid dissolve okay, to make a saturated solution. It takes a couple, like a couple of minutes to boil it. But still, there are some solids, so we have some more. So we have about 60 more. There are still more, so we have to add all 70. So add about 70 milliliter of ethanol, as is suggested. temperature first and then ice okay. so we're putting this to room temperature first okay Okay, the product was cooled to room temperature and now it's in ice bath to precipitate more products. Uh, it's cold enough, so we have to do vacuum filtration. Okay, so connect the one end of the horse water tubes to the side of the water tap. Uh, can I see it? Okay, side. Right. And connect one to the other side to the side of the suction flask and turn on the water all the way and put the paper okay, and put the paper 
uh, with the paper with ethanol. So if the paper is wet, everything is ready, so take it out, remember rolling it, pick and gentle, okay, rolling, pick and gentle. So almost nothing, yeah, okay. Wait until all the ethanol is removed. <coughs> Packing filtration is fast filtration compared to the gravity filtration. And also because of the, the vacuum pulling the air from the above the filter funnel through the, uh, through the compound, so it makes a fast dry too. Not maybe not for water, but the ethanol and any volatile organic solvent. If they leave on the vacuum like this, back in situation for a while, most of the solvent can be dry, vaporized, like this. So it gives the faster dry too. Okay, now to turn down. So we assume it is done. Okay, go ahead to the first, turn up the water. No, great, go back to the first. And then some of the water. Now we have to weigh the final product. Okay. Tapping, which everything, including the paper, follow. on the products, not the paper. So it's out. Uh, some remaining there we just scratch. Okay. For the paper scratch use the side of the spatula. Spreading the solid is make a wider surface area so the solvent can be removed faster. So give it a little bit of air dry. Okay, zero. And transport the solid. And we got 0.85 gram, 0.85 gram of the product, which is n 24 dinitrophenyl aniline compound. Okay, it's time to clean up. Okay, all the chemical go to the waste water, designated waste water, solid go to the solid waste water, and clean up the bench, clean up your glassware. See you next week.